Skinny Lads. I'm gonna do an unboxing video of a certified 22 inch three in one self propelled lawnmower from Canadian Tire. It was 350 bucks. Kinda needed one to cut the ditches at home and cut underneath trees where I couldn't reach with the right on, so probably give her a try anyways. First thing I get is a quick start guide. The bagger. With all your parts. The bagger, in my opinion, a little bit small. I'll fill in pretty quick, but 350 bucks is really not that bad, I would think. Probably not gonna be bagging very much this grass anyways. See if we can get that together. Be a little bit of an assembly video too so all these just uh they just clip together you just open that up a little bit and it rolls right in Yeah, a pretty small bagger, in my opinion. Comes with a piece of wood to burn the box later, I guess. A little bit of recycling. There's your side chute that it comes with. Needs 10W30 oil before you start this thing. It does not come with a drop of oil in it. Comes with your handle. Little zip ties. Let's see if I can get this out without breaking my back. That's pretty neat. The level adjuster adjusts all four at the same time. You only ever have to adjust one. It's a good feature. Never had that before. For the most part you can just read the instructions on how to put these together but this is the video instead of having to figure it out on your own a little, little marked out but whatever Maybe a lot more marks on it by the end of the season anyways. Not too concerned.
nice foam handle cover. A little more plastic garbage. I seem to do that a lot these days. Cover everything in plastic. Okay. Let's see what it came with. Pretty simple, everything's the same. Thumb wheel. Like you have to adjust it upwards. So you got the bar on. Tighten that down, doesn't need to be super tight. You get the second part of your handle, throw it on top. Much easier with two people, but I don't have a second person here. And as for the instructions, I haven't looked at them once yet. So I'm hoping I'm putting them together right. Should be pretty self explanatory. I can see already this is running into this like right out of the box it's running into the tire not really sure why
Oh, must have got rough handled or something. Got to be bent a little bit. Yeah, it does look a little bent. Comes with a weird cap. Pull that out. 10W30 and 87 octane gas. said it doesn't come with a drop oil in it maybe invest in a funnel Roughly half a liter of oil. Wipe up anything you spill in case there is a leak. You'll be able to tell right away. And bang on. trying to put it through where the cable's supposed to go. Well, that turned out pretty damn good. Um, so, I don't really have very many complaints about this thing. I haven't used it yet, but my only complaint so far, the height adjustment for the wheel out of the box was bent. That's a, kind of a pretty big piss off. But, I'll see if it bugs me anymore, and if it does, I'll bring it back, get an exchange. But it doesn't seem to bug me yet. I know I didn't bend it. So I'll see if I can unbend it later on, maybe heat it up, bend it out, whatever. Find out what I can do. But it started first pull literally, which is pretty surprising. And yeah. I'll see how it cuts and I'll maybe do another video if you guys want. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever. Have a good one.